I thank Dr. Kanem for her opening remarks. I am now delighted to introduce the remarks by Mr. Ernie Salas, the son of Rafael Salas. Last year, we heard from his mother, Ambassador Salas, and we are thrilled that Mr. Ernie Salas is able to join us this year. Over to you. Thank you, Chef de Cabinet, for those wonderful comments. And thank you, Natalia, for the warm welcome and for convening these lectures every year. Thank you, Jeff, for agreeing to be this year's lecturer. Excellencies, colleagues, and friends. Today, I'm joined by my mother, Ambassador Salas, my wife, Pinky, and Maya, who are in our virtual audience, along with dozens of our dear family and friends. I cannot tell you how delighted I am to be here and how grateful I am to share some time with you this morning. I wanted to start by saying that professionally, I reside in the private sector, happily immersed in corporate America. And in my role, speaking in rooms with groups of people is a regular occurrence for me. But I have never, ever spoken in the trusteeship council chamber <laughs> or used the word excellencies in a salutation. So two very big firsts for me. To be honest, given the newness of all this, I'm extremely nervous right now. <laughs> it's not a surprise, as a matter of fact, right after I decided to speak, I was very anxious. So I tried to get more comfortable, and I did that by reading. So I started reading. I read about our speaker, Jeffrey Jordan. I read about the great work of the UNFPA. And when I finished reading, I wasn't anxious anymore. I wasn't anxious anymore because all of it left me inspired. It left me optimistic. And in today's world, I will take inspiration and optimism wherever I can get it. With my internet research done, I stepped away from my computer and I started to reflect on memories of my dad and the UNFPA. And I'd like to share some of those memories with you now. When I was a young child, my father would occasionally take me to work with him. At one point, his office was right here in UN headquarters, and my favorite part of the visit was the walk from the basement parking lot to his office. It was such a journey, listening to the warm greetings from the security officers from different nations, all of whom he knew by first name, reading the signage that was written in both French and English, I learned that pousser and tirer meant push and pull on those trips. <laughs> Gazing at every astounding piece of art along the way. To this day, I can't think of many experiences more sensational or marvelous than following my dad through the great halls of the United Nations. Like many of you, my father traveled extensively and he was away from home most of the year. On the days he would return, I'd rush home with excitement, knowing that he would arrive with stories about new connections, cultures, and food from faraway places, and toys. <laughs> my room was filled with toys bought from shops around the world. And when dad was home, he and my mother would entertain. They would host dinner parties in our apartment. Dignitaries, colleagues, and friends from everywhere, eating, drinking, laughing, and celebrating. On any given weekend, it seemed like the entire global village was on parade in our living and dining room. To me, my father's passion for sharing the UNFPA's mission with the world comes as no surprise, because he had that very same passion for sharing the world with our family. Turning to this lecture series, every speaker has been incredible. But the two lectures that were most memorable for me were in 2003 and 2018. In 2003, when Dr. Jeffrey Sachs delivered his lecture, I secretly asked my wife to marry me right before the Q&A. <laughs> we treated the reception afterwards as our engagement party. And in 2018, my daughter Maya and her seventh grade class attended the lecture delivered by President Michelle Bachelet of Chile. It was quite something to see our daughter and her friends speak and mingle with the president herself in the delegate's dining room. Recounting all these memories made me realize that everything about this lecture reminds me of family and holding family dear. I think many would agree in this day and age, 
the practice of holding family dear is something we could all do more of. Looking back on it all, I am certain that to my dad, the UNFPA was also family. So with that said, here we are, gathered for the 17th lecture in memory of my dad. On behalf of Rafael Salas and our family, I would like to thank you. I'd like to thank you for this moment. Thank you for this lecture series. Thank you for all the work that you have done and the work you have ahead of you. Thank you all. You're definitely allowed to clap. You're just not allowed to sing, all right? <laughs> I thank Ernie for his address and that lovely reflection on the lecture and his father. And we also won't hold it against you, uh, your residence in corporate America. <laughs> also, we have a Q&A coming up in a little bit, so all proposals are welcome.